In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your issues ready for publishing. So I'm going to pretend that this is one of the issues that I'm working on and I'm ready to start the publishing process. I click settings and I go into the settings here and it's really, really easy. If this is a free issue, you can see here under pricing, it's already set to free. If this is a free issue, the only thing I need to do is I need to make sure that the published date is at a date where the issue content is ready and a date where I want my issue to be publicly available from both the iOS and the Android app. That's all there is to it. For free issues, for free subscriptions, you just create your content in Magloff, you give it a publish date, make sure that you pack and that your issue has this published state. Then it will be available in all devices. If it's a paid issue, if it's part of a paid subscription or if it has a single price, then you're going to want to flick the switch here, or the toggle, and switch it over to paid issue. Then you select the price that you want to give this issue. So here are the different tiers. These are all the uh, Apple tiers. And you can always see the price tier by clicking this little button here. We'll bring up a modal and you can see for the different countries, uh, the, the customer price and the proceeds of that price. So you give it a price. And this is pretty important. This is the product ID that we assign to your issue. So you actually want to take this product ID and you want to copy it because you can't actually change it. And then you want to go to the iTunes store. So this is in iTunes Connect. I've already logged into my magazine and you want to go to in-app purchases. So a really good tip. You want to start this process about a week before your issue is ready to go live. For each issue that you create and you want to give it a price, you need to create a in-app purchase for Apple and it can sometimes take up to four to six days for it to go through their review. So here I am in the in-app purchases menu. I'm going to click create new and I'm going to select a non-consumable for digital issues. Non-consumable means that once it's been purchased, they can always access it even if they delete the app later on and reinstall it, they will be able to uh, get access to your issue again. So I'm going to select non-consumable. Reference name is just for internal use and for your reporting. And then here the product ID is really important. This is where I copied the product ID from my settings. You see this was the one I had here. Copy it out and paste it into the product ID field. Clear for sale. And again here you can select the price tier that you want. And it will show you the pricing again here if you click the pricing matrix. Scrolling down, you want to add a language. This is also some requirements for Apple. So you want to give it a display name. You can look at your first issue to see what display name that was. And you want to give it a description. Now this can be a really, really short description of in this issue, something. So some small content about what's inside your issue. Save it up and then you're not hosting any content with Apple. You don't need to add any review notes. All you need to do is you need to add a screenshot. And for this, I recommend you take a screenshot of your device. It can also be a cover image uh, of, of your latest issue. It, it really doesn't matter how much or, or what screenshot it is as it's mainly for review and Apple. And you just wanna see that there's actually a product here. So although it's not super important, it is required. So once you've uploaded, I'm just going to select an, e an image I have. So here's a demo cover that I have created earlier. It's just to, to demonstrate it will be uploaded. And then once you've done that, you can hit save. And here you can see in my list, I now have my issue two. Everything is set up. The product ID is there. It's a non-consumable and it's ready to submit because I submitted a screenshot. I'm going to tick this box here and then you're going to click submit for review and this is the process that will take anywhere from as short as 12 hours uh, up to seven days maximum so you want to do this in good time then you just click done now the trick here is it, it may be that your issue is going live in a week from the date that you're doing this so back in your issue the publish date you want to just put that forward for a week or even two weeks. You just give it a, a good week or, or more 
in advance because as soon as your product ID is approved by Apple, you will get a notification. And then from that date on, you can go back and just say, maybe it's on the third. So then you just go in and say, okay, the publish date is now third. And then your issue will be live instantly with the price and people will be able to buy it. For the Google Play Store, it's a very, very similar process. Again, you wanna copy the product ID. It's the same product ID that you're gonna be using in Google Play. And here I've already logged into my developer console for Google Play. I've selected the magazine app that I'm working on and I've selected in-app products from the left menu. And here, very similar fashion to iTunes Connect, I'm gonna click Add New Product. And this is a managed product. And then I'm just gonna paste in the product ID that I got from Maglock. And I'm gonna hit Continue. This will automatically load up the page and here again I can add a title, I can add a description, this here is only 80 characters but in this issue etc. And then you're going to give it a price, so this is where Google Play is a little bit different from Apple, you can actually say select your distinct price and then you can also give it a specific price for each country if you want to or you can just click auto convert prices now and it will automatically convert uh, all the prices and then you just click activate and the product is now active it's all set up it will actually go live in uh, about for google it only takes a few hours and uh, you're done so if you go back to the overview here in app products you can see that my issue two the price it's managed product and it's active so for Google Play it's much easier you can actually just go ahead and do this as soon as the iOS or the uh, iTunes Connect in-app purchase has been approved then go in and just spend two minutes setting up your new product in Google Play and it will be live almost instantly in your Android devices and of course in your Android magazine so that's how you set up your issue two or any other issues coming after that and giving it a price. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it has been helpful. I look forward to seeing you soon in future videos.